Ow! 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 Oh, you know, is someone shooting at me? Hi, I'm Dave Stewart. I'm an engineering manager in Intel in our open source technology center. And you know what those those 3D games, I'm always really lame with those things because I'm standing there and somebody is, you know, leaking away health at me because they're shooting at me from the back, you know, and I'm just like, uh, you know, wouldn't it be terrible though if you were using a computer and uh, your software was guilty of essentially leaking away uh, power or your battery life because of something that's going on because of your software. So one of the things that uh, we've done uh, with Open Solaris and the Solaris operating system is to again to try and make Intel architectures the best choice if you choose Solaris or Open Solaris is to um, help with this whole area of power use if you're a software developer whether a driver developer or application developer you want to kind of look at some of this stuff and uh, we provide you some help the, the um, you know and this is important too because if you think about it um, studies have shown that in fact in the US data centers actually use more power than color TVs and uh, it's actually doubling every few years and so that's a pretty serious issue and uh, even with laptops if I use a laptop uh, why I want the battery life to last as long as possible if I have software that's causing that battery life to be less than it should be or is, is, is wasting power someplace that's not a good thing because again that takes away time I could be you know showing a presentation or you know developing software on a battery right so uh, the tool that we've uh, developed is one that's called PowerTop I'd like to kind of give you some more idea of how that works and how you can use it. Uh, it was actually developed by um, a very smart uh, person here at Intel, uh, originally for Linux, and uh, we have uh, have it available on Solaris and Open Solaris. And I want to show you a little bit how it works. Um, we've used one of the really powerful capabilities in uh, the Solaris operating system called DTrace. We've added DTrace probes to basically um, give us this information. Uh, you know, if you're on uh, Open Solaris, you're probably aware of the PF exec command. Of course, you'll need uh, some sort of shell prompt and a, and a terminal window to run this in. But, you know, PF exec uh, run PowerTop. Um, it collects uh, power usage information and displays it in a window. And let me kind of give you an idea how to interpret this. Um, this part of the display is really about idle power. And in here, uh, we're using these, uh, displaying how much time we're spending in each of the C states. C0, of course, is uh, when we're not idle, we use sort of full power. If you've got C1 or even lower C states, depending on your hardware and software that you're running. Um, clearly, if you're idle, you want to spend the most time possible in a low C state. And um, any time you're spending in C0, when you're completely, should be completely idle, is really wasted power, wasted battery life, um, wasted data center power, et cetera. Similarly, in this corner, this is where we have active power management going on. This is where if you're actually, you know, maybe not fully utilized on your CPU, you want to actually back it down, uh, the, the, the power that's used there. And so you'll actually see the different frequencies that the CPU, how much time it's spending in those different P states or different frequencies basically for active. But for this uh, idle power management, it's very important to know if I'm spending um, not all of my time in a low C state, why is that? And so the, the bigger part of the display here are what are the top causes for wake up on the system? And so you run this thing, uh, depending on what version of the kernel you're running or applications, you may find, for example, the Unix uh, scheduler uh, is going off, uh, the, the, a clock tick happens 100 times a second in various versions of the kernel. This is something that's being eliminated, by the way, in the techless kernel. Um, you may find uh, uh, EHCI, UHCI, 100 times a second, the kernel's ch checking to see if there's a new USB device that's been plugged in. And so, um, you know, you maybe you don't have to check 100 times a second, but you may also find a driver that pops up here. Maybe you find an application, maybe it's one of the applications that you run on your laptop, and uh, you go, well, shoot, I don't really want to be wasting power. And again, the problem with these wake-ups are uh, you wake up, find nothing to do, and go back to sleep again. That basically, uh, it's like when you turn off your car to save some gas and you turn it on again, the act of actually turning the car on, starting it, actually uses more gas. Similarly, you know, to go into a higher C state actually consumes more power. And so you really want to spend as much time as possible in a low C state if you're actually idle. And so an application, instead of, if you see one of your applications popping up here or a driver that you're working on, maybe what you want to do is say, you know, maybe I don't have to wake up you know, as often, you know, for example, with that uh, USB device, maybe I don't have to check a hundred times a second for a new USB plug-in. Maybe I wait, you know, maybe I wake up once a second or something like that. Maybe that's good enough. Or maybe I can even change the application logic so that 
uh, I can go in from this polling behavior to more uh, event-based behavior. And so I will stay asleep unless I you know, get a wake-up of some sort. And there are a lot of specific ways that you can um, look at that and look at this information and use it to actually determine, hey, am I, do, is some of my software causing us to wake up too, too much? So it's actually kind of amazing that software is, is so involved and in, you know, can we get involved to really to green our software and uh, save battery life and actually save some power in the data center as well. Now, how you can get involved, uh, go to opensolaris.com, get the latest version of OpenSolaris. It's a live CD. You can try it out. You can try out the PowerTop command right away and see how much power um, your applications may be using, your computer is consuming. Uh, we also, if you want to get involved uh, technically, we'd love to get you involved there. OpenSolaris.org is the place where uh, we do most of this, this uh, work. Um, there's an Intel platform project that you can go look at and get involved in the discussions there. There's also the project called Tesla, which is uh, where the power management work is going on with uh, Intel and the rest of the open source community. So I'd very much encourage you to get involved with this, get involved in the discussion, ask, ask questions, see how we've implemented this stuff, and contribute so that we can all improve uh, the planet's uh, longevity for all of us.